All right, welcome guys. How are you doing? How are you doing Sunday morning? Just getting myself going today with a little bit of movement. Just getting myself going with a little bit of moving and a little bit of breathing. Just starting up my energy for the day. Just getting myself into my best energy for the day. Just taking charge of my movements. Just taking charge of my breathing. Just coming to conscious awareness of my breathing, of my thoughts, of my words. Just practicing my best self for the day. Thinking about my very best talking about my very best and then taking physical and mental actions to arrive at my very best for the day. I'm going to start off just coming through an imaginary ladder here. I'm just coming through an imaginary ladder, two feet in every single rung of the ladder, and then I'm skipping on my way back. I'm just coming through the ladder getting my knees up, coming through my imaginary ladder, and then just giving it a little bit of a skip on the way back. I'm going to turn on my, camp, my clock. It chimes every 30 seconds. Going to be getting myself going with, the, with a little bit of bouncing around, a little bit of moving, just getting myself breathing, just picking my knees up, coming through my imaginary ladder, and then skipping on the way back, skipping on the way back. Just moving, just breathing, just picking up my knees, working on my hips, working on my core, getting myself going for the day. Taking some action. It doesn't happen without action, right? We can think about it, we can talk about it, we can want it all we like, Unless we take some action, it's not going to happen. You got to take some massive action in order to fix or change or heal something in your life. It's not going to happen by itself. Someone's got to move. Something's got to change. We got to move something. We got to change something. That's always a little bit uncomfortable. That's normal to feel that discomfort. We got to push into a little bit of discomfort to make a change. That's how a change happens. Good job. We get ourselves moving. We get ourselves breathing. Once we start jumping around, doesn't take long before the body starts to breathe. Starts demanding a little bit more oxygen. Just coming to the awareness of it. Just observing, just observing it. Getting my legs nice and wide, I'm going to be working on my alternating side lunges. Alternating side lunges. Working through my hips, inner thighs. Working through my hips, working through my lower back. Leaning over to one side, leaning over to the other side. Working on my inner thighs. Working on my hips, working on my lower back. Working on my breathing. Heating up my body, getting my body hot. Nice deep breaths, getting my body breathing, waking up. Nice deep breaths, just warming up my body with movement, reaching for the floor, right hand to right side, left hand to left side, warming up the inner thighs, getting my body moving, getting my body breathing, just becoming aware of it, just watching, just observing, coming out of the mind, letting go of the thoughts that I'm thinking. It's the thoughts that I'm thinking that are creating the reality that I have. I'm going to have to let go a little bit of what I know in order to get something different. Coming across my body, 
twisting across my body, looking back, twisting one hand back, then the other hand back, turning, twisting, coming across, reaching across my body, looking back. Working on my neck, working on my shoulders, working on my chest, stretching out my body. Waking up, waking up. This is how it happens. This is how we do it. Getting our bodies moving, getting our bodies breathing. Taking some action. Next one, I'm going to come back to the top of my ladder. I'm going to be coming through my ladder. And then on the way back, wide step squat. Wide step squat. Wide step squat. Coming through my ladder. And coming back. Wide step squat. Wide step squat. Wide step squat. Coming through my ladder, high knees coming through the ladder, coming back, dropping my bum, working on my thighs, working on my hips, keeping my feet flat on the floor, working on my breaths, working on nice deep breaths, just waking up, just getting hot, taking action, centering myself in the here and now. You know, letting go of that busy mind. It may take a moment to let go of the thoughts that are going on inside of our heads. We want to work on letting those go, just taking our mind off of it, getting our mind into our bodies, getting our mind into our movements, getting our mind into our breathing, centering ourselves for today. So letting go a little bit of control, you know. So letting go a little bit of control. It's letting go a little bit of control of our breathing. It's letting go a little bit of control of our thoughts. We gotta let go a little bit. It's gotta be a little bit of letting go to move forward. That's a bit scary. It's a scary feeling to let go of control. But this is how this is how change happens. It's okay, we gotta push into a little bit of fear. It's always a little bit of fear and discomfort. Got both my feet on the ground, I'm dropping my butt down low, I'm coming right up. Right down, all the way down, nice and low, all the way up. Just working through a nice range of motion. Getting down into my nice deep squats. It's not about killing yourself, boys and girls, it's just about getting your body moving and getting your mind set in the right place, just becoming aware of what you're thinking and saying to yourself. It's about your self-talk. How are you talking to yourself? How are you thinking and speaking about yourself and about the other people in your life? How are you thinking and speaking about the people that you love the most? How are you thinking and speaking about your work, about your money? about your future? Are you optimistic or pessimistic about what's going on in your life? Do you think it's the end of times or do you think it's the opportunity for change in your life? This is a perspective shift. It's always a change of mindset that we need. In order to get out of the place that we're in, and create something new, we're going to have to get different thoughts and words going through our head. We're going to have to take different actions to get something different. 
Something new has to happen. It begins in the mind with new thoughts and words in our mind. We've got to reprogram the subconscious mind with some new thoughts and words. We've got to reprogram the subconscious mind with some positive thoughts and words. We've got to think and speak positively. Good job. Hearts pumping. Body's starting to warm up. I'm coming back to the top of my imaginary ladder. And this time I'm working on an in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Working through the ladder. On the way back, I'm going to work on my lunge. My walking lunge. Give it a try, right? You've got an imaginary ladder in front of you. Stepping into the ladder, stepping out of the ladder. Stepping into the ladder, stepping out of the ladder. When you're coming back, walking lunges on the way back. Stepping in, stepping out of the ladder. Stepping in, stepping out of the ladder. Two feet step in, two feet step back. Just a little forward and backward. Just a little bouncing up on the balls of the feet. It's just the monotonous action that doesn't require thought. That helps us to get out of the mind. This is what we need. We need a little bit of consciousness practice. Something that's not thinking related. We've picked up some bad habits of thought that keep on pulling us down. we got to get out of those bad habits of thought. It's limited beliefs. I like to call it stinking thinking. It's bad habits of thought and word and action. We've just learned bad habits of thought and word and action. We can change our habits. I know it's not easy. It's not easy for me either. I know it hurts sometimes. I know it's scary and uncomfortable. I know it makes me vulnerable. I don't like to be vulnerable. I don't like to be afraid. I understand. I understand. But making yourself vulnerable is how we change, actually. It's how we grow and it's how we inspire others, actually, when we share our vulnerability. It's actually beneficial to others. Even though it feels uncomfortable for ourselves, it doesn't feel great for me to always tell you that, you know, the wheels fell off my wagon. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but this is how it happens, boys and girls. When one person does it, it inspires another to do it. Our next one here, I'm working on a jumping jack. Jumping it out if you can. If you can't jump it out, we can walk it out. And we can do a little bit of both if you like. If you want to jump it for a while, and then you want to walk it for a while, it's all up to you. If you need to take a little breather, just slow it down. Just slow yourself down if you have to. Keep it going. If you can, if you want to drive up that heart rate, work your body a little bit. Get the body going, get that heart pumping. We're moving the fluids around the body. We're moving blood and lymph. We're moving oxygen and carbon dioxide. We're moving gases. We're exciting and invigorating. We're coming up on the balls of the feet. We're getting excited. We're getting hot. We're picking up the energy for today. Good job. Starting to feel it. Awesome. Coming back to the top of my imaginary ladder here. This time I'm going to go two steps wide, two steps close. Two steps inside the ladder, two steps outside of my imaginary ladder. Two steps in, two steps out. 
In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. On the way back, I'm bouncing. If you don't like that bouncing, how about just a little jog on the way back? That's okay. You can jog it back if you like. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Moving through your ladder. Getting the feet up. Getting the knees up a little bit. Working on the hip flexors. Working on the calves. Bouncing if you can on the way back. Or just jogging if you don't like the bouncing. That's okay. Do what's right for you. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, working through your ladder. Coming through, bouncing or jogging. Coming up onto the balls of the feet. Getting the heart pumping. Let's get that body breathing. Come on now. Wake it up. This is how it happens. We take action. Let's get in shape. We got to think and talk about it. What do you want? Let's not talk about what the problem is. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, I don't like my legs. I don't like this. Well, let's take some action then. If we don't like something, let's take some action to change it. How do we change it? We start thinking and talking about what we want. We start thinking and talking about what we want to change, how we want it to be. Not complaining about things as they are. Thinking and talking about the way that we want it to be. Right? That's how it happens. We got to start talking positively. I want to get healthy. I want to be well. I want to love myself. I want to love all of my life. I want to love my wife and my children. I want to love my future. I want to love my work. I want to love my finances. Right? I want to love the people that are trying to learn and grow along with me as I learn and grow and share with you. My next one, I'm going to drop myself down into a burpee. And you can walk that out if you don't like jumping it. No problem. Walk it out if you have to. Jump it out if you can. Walk it out if you have to. Do your best. Everybody does their best with what they know until they learn or know something new. And then they do their best with what they learn, something new. This is it. We got to get something new into our mind. We got to start thinking and talking positively to ourselves about ourselves. We got to get moving positively, thinking and talking positively. I am getting healthy, I am getting well. I am healing myself with my own love. I am loving myself. I am doing loving actions. I am thinking and speaking and doing loving things. I am feeding myself nutritionally with loving foods. I'm just feeding myself, nourishing myself with loving words. I'm nourishing myself with loving thoughts. I'm nourishing myself with loving foods. Live, natural, loving foods, fruits and vegetables. More fruits and vegetables. Less cooked foods, less cooked and processed foods. They don't have to give anything up. We just have to reduce the things that we're doing a little bit too much. We need to get our bodies moving. We need to get our bodies breathing. We need to sit each morning and each night with our thoughts and words 
and reevaluate ourselves daily. This has to happen daily. It needs to be a practice, a self love, self care practice, a sitting meditation or mindfulness practice. Here's my next one. I'm working on a lunge. Now, if you can jump out your lunge, awesome. If you like, we could just walk out our lunge and just do a reverse lunge. That's awesome. Whatever's right for you. If you can do some jump lunges, let's see, you know, 20 or 30. 20 or 30 jump lunges. 20 or 30 jump lunges. If you need to take a little breather, take a little breather. If you need to walk it out, walk it out. If you can do 10 or 15, do 10 or 15 and then take a break. Try another 10 or 15 walking or jumping. If you need to modify that in any way, just modify a little bit. Do your best. Take a little breather, do a second set, do a third set. Just working on your walking lunges, your jumping lunges. Working on your thighs, working on your hips, working on your glutes. These are the biggest muscles in the body. These are the real big drivers of your metabolism. These are very exciting and invigorating muscles for your endocrine system, changing your hormones in your body, driving up the heart rate through those legs. That's how it's done. That's how we do it. We want to work on those big leg muscles, those big drivers, metabolic drivers, metabolic engines. Once that's completed, you've had enough. We're gonna do a couple sets down here. It's like a jumping down here in the plank position. Working on a jump lunge here. Let's work on 30 or 40 or 50 of those. Let's work on a couple sets of those. 30 or 40 or 50. Jumping climbers, if you need to do it off of a box or off of a stool or off of a chair or off of the couch, do it that way. If you want to do it more low impact, you can do it this way. You can climb it out, just lower impact, less jumping, right? Getting that, move, that body moving in the plank position, just changing my position changing the muscles I'm working, but I'm still doing the same thing. I'm invigorating, I'm moving my body, and I'm breathing. Here we go. This is how it happens. Try a second set or a third set of those. Do your best. Push yourself. You gotta go a little bit outside of your comfort zone. It's not about killing you but you gotta push yourself a little bit. That's how it happens. Just breathing, just moving. Good morning, good morning, friends. Hello, hello, good morning, friends. Let's get ourselves going. Just getting ourselves going for the day. Couple of light dumbbells in my hand, nothing heavy at all. Couple of light dumbbells, one leg forward, and I'm gonna be working on my rows. Let's try 20 to 30 of those with one leg forward, working on those back muscles, working on those arms, working on my shoulders. Let's see, what can you do? 
20 or 30 of those. It's not about heavy weights. Right? It's not about killing myself. It's about loving me. It's about loving myself. How to love myself. Saying loving things to myself. I am growing in love. I am growing in health. I am growing in wellness. Not thinking and talking about, oh, this is wrong, and that's wrong, and this is what happened to me. Poor me. Poor, poor me. This is what happened. Hey, you can be there. It's okay. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying, as long as you're the victim, as long as you're staying poor, poor me, nothing's going to change there. The victim power, the victim mentality will never change your life. It's not powerful enough to change your life. Being a victim won't win, won't give you joy and happiness. Taking responsibility, making a change, sometimes cutting off some things that are, you know, not working anymore. Okay, that's what I used to do. It's not working anymore. Cut it loose. Stop doing that. Stop engaging with your life in that way. Need to make a change. Need to let go. Even if that's how you did it for 10 or 20 or 30 years, maybe it's time to let it go. I'm working on the back of my arms. Just because you always drank coffee or just because you always drank alcohol or just because you always ate red meat all the time or just because you always liked your yogurt and your cookies and it was always fine before. It doesn't matter what happened before. Let go of what's happened. Let's think and talk about what we're going to do. Where we want to go. I want to be healthy and well. Let go of what you've done before. It isn't working anymore. You need to change it up. Somewhere along the line, we got to make some new decisions. Somewhere between 30 and 60, you got to make some new decisions. You got to change it up. It happens, I think, for every single one of us. I got one leg forward, I'm working on 15 or 20 kickbacks. I got the other leg forward, I'm working on 15 or 20 kickbacks. I'm working on the back of my arms. And then I'm coming up for a little bit of balance and strength. Standing on one leg, I'm working on balance, curls. Let's see. 15 or 20 curls on one leg. 15 or 20 curls on the other leg. Toning, tightening, sculpting, balancing. Strengthening my body. Making myself strong, healthy, and well. I am getting strong, healthy, and well. I am making the changes that are required to make me strong, healthy, and well. I am reconnecting with all of my energy. I am inviting all of my energy back up into my life. I'm working on my balance. I'm working on my strength. I'm getting stronger. Working on the front of my arms. Working on the back of my arms. Dropping myself down into a plank position. And I'm working on my plank. I'm working on my plank rows. Pulling one side. Pulling the other side in the plank position. Working on 20 or 30 plank rows. Core strength. Upper body strength. Arm strength. 
Full body. Moving. Breathing. Full body strength. Twenty or thirty. Plank rows. If you need a breather along the way, stop and take a little breather. No problem. Then I'm coming up for a little balance and strength. Flexibility, balance and strength. Stretch it out. Stretch over. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Conscious breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Connecting to my power. Thinking and speaking about my power. I believe in a power that I have within me. I believe every single human being has access to the same creative force, the same creative power. I believe every single human being can heal themselves if they believe in themselves, if they believe in the power within themselves, if they focus on growing that power within themselves, and they grow it within themselves with their own positive thoughts and words and actions. This is how it happens. Sharing it with others, this is how it happens. Inspiring others, this is how it happens. Taking action. Coming up from there, I got my dumbbells here. I'm just working on my shoulders. Just pumping my shoulders a little bit. Let's see, 30, 40, 50, how many can you do? 20, 30, 40, 50. Two sets of 20, two sets of 15, what can you do? One set of 30, one set of 40, one set of 50. Do what you can. Do your best. Push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Push yourself a little bit. Dropping myself down here. I'm working on a push-up. Leg tuck. Push-up. Leg tuck. Working on some upper body strength. Working on some core strength. Working on some flexibility. Working on some range of motion. Working on my best. I am going for my best. That's it. I'm committed to my best. I'm committed to love for me. I'm committed to love for my family. I'm committed to love for my work, for my customers, for my clients, for my friends. I'm committed to my planet. I'm committed to working hard for the people that I share life with. Making commitments, making decisions, making them out, putting them out into the world, sharing them, making yourself accountable to others. This is how it happens, sharing it. Maybe a second set, five to ten push-ups, what can you do? Second set if you can. If you can't, that's okay. Maybe you can do knee push-ups. Maybe you can just do regular push-ups. Maybe you can do toe push-ups. What can you do? Do what you can. Don't talk about what you can't do. I can't do that. Okay, don't do that one then. Do something else. Can you do this? Do this then. If you can't do that, do this. If you can't do that, do this. Do something else. Think and talk about what you can, what you can do. What can you do? Let's talk about what you can do. Dropping myself down, I'm working on my core. If you can't do that, do this. Do what you can. Make a little modification. Do something different if you can't do something. Do what you can do. You gotta practice it. 
You got to practice it every day. You got to practice working on your best every day. As you start working on your best, whatever is blocking you is going to come up. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's going to come up. You're going to have to deal with it. That's okay. Don't be afraid of it. You just need to face it. You need to think and talk about it a little bit differently. Whatever's in the way, whatever's blocking you in your life, if you keep moving towards your best, it's going to keep popping up into your life until you can figure out how to think and speak about it differently. We've all got some trapped emotional energy in our bodies and lives. We've all got trauma hidden in our bodies and lives. It's buried in our lives and it's holding us back. We need to sit with it. We need to be with it. We need to give love and care to it. We need to give love and care to the uh, darker bits of ourself, the shadow. We can't be afraid of our shadow. We can't be afraid of our vulnerability. It's okay, our weakness. Don't worry about your weakness. You're not perfect, that's okay. Not everything's the way you want it yet. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's perfect right now. Do what you can with it. Do your best. I'm working on my core again here. I'm pulling my knees in. Open and pull. Open and pull. If you want to put your feet on the ground and do one leg at a time, you can put your feet on the ground and do one leg at a time if you have to. If you can do the both legs, awesome. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Core flexion. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze in through the middle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. It's not about the sets, it's not about the reps, it's not about numbers. We aren't about numbers. We aren't about how much we weigh or how much is in the bank account. We're about feelings. It's about coming to the feelings. It's about thinking and talking about how you feel. It's about letting go of the negative low frequency feelings. The frustration, the anger, the sorrow, the jealousy, the envy. The control, the comparison, the competition, the judgment. It's about letting go of this low frequency energy. We got to think and talk about our best. The low stuff's going to come up. We deal with it. We rethink it. We, we talk through it. We let it go. We breathe it out. We sit in the low shadow energy and we breathe fully. We engage with it. We allow it. We listen to it. We allow it to be. Give it some light. Give it some love. Give some love and care to the shadow. Give some love and care to the darkness in your life. It's okay. Let it out. It's okay. Don't be afraid. It's okay. I know it doesn't feel nice. We've just associated it with a negative feeling. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We can disassociate from that. It will heal, don't worry. Just working on some spinal extension there. Pushing back, working on some spinal flexion. Coming over. We all need a system. We all need a method to give love and care to ourselves, physically and mentally. We all need a practice. We all need something we're working on to improve ourselves. Moving, breathing, and consciously becoming aware of the things we're thinking and saying to ourselves. This is a this is a natural health practice. Taking my knee up between my hands, 
stretching out through my hips and thighs, folding over. Breathing into the thighs, breathing into the resistance, breathe into the blockage, breathe into the shadow emotions, breathe into the frustration and sorrow and sadness. Just sit with the anger, it's okay, just breathe, it will, it will pass. Send some love to yourself, I love you. I love myself. I have care and love for all of me. I forgive me. I forgive myself. I accept things as they are right now. Switching my knee. Other knee comes up. Speaking to myself nicely. Being my own best friend. I love me. I believe in myself. I am good. I am good enough. I am good enough for my life. I am good enough. I am good. I believe in myself. I believe I am worthy. I believe I am valuable. I believe I am loved. Thinking and speaking nicely to myself about myself. That's how it happens. That's how I change my relationship with myself. Hanging myself over here in a flexed position. I'm working on my hamstrings and back muscles. Lengthening out my hamstrings and back muscles. Just breathing. It's okay, we're all a little bit overwhelmed. It's okay. There's too many things to do in a day. I know, it's okay. What you can't do right now, that's okay. Just let it go. You can't manage it right now, that's okay. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna get better as we, as we, as we raise up our frequency and vibration, as we let go of some of that shadow energy, We'll find more energy. We'll have more time and availability to do things. You'll find you have more energy and time as you heal yourself, as your energy rises, as you start to practice healthy thoughts and words and actions and foods daily, as you start to practice fasting, taking things away from your life, Practicing living with this and practice living without it. You've been eating three, four, five times a day for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. How about you get rid of that? How about you eat once a day? How about you eat twice a day? Just give a little bit up. You can't be happy without it. Well, you don't have to give it up. You can just give it up for a couple of days. It's okay. The food will still be there in a couple of days. Reach over to the other side, twisting opposite hand across the body. Don't worry, the Dorito chips will still be there on the weekend. They won't go away. Don't worry, there'll be another cooked food meal tomorrow. Don't worry, it'll be there. If you miss a day, nothing bad's going to happen. You're not going to die if you don't eat or drink something today. You're not going to die if you don't watch a certain program today. You're not going to die if you don't watch the news today. Don't worry. The news will be there tomorrow. They'll still be talking about that variant, that killer virus that's going to get you. I got my right hand to my right leg. I'm opening up my inner thigh. The story's not going to change tomorrow. You can always tune in to the external tomorrow. How about you start tuning out some of that external garbage and noise and tune into your own internal dialogue? How about you work on shifting your internal dialogue 
instead of taking in all that external dialogue and fighting with all those people around you. And, you know, engaging negatively with the people around you. How's that working for you? Is that making you happy and healthy and well? Then why do you keep doing it? If it's not working for you, then why do you keep engaging with your life that way? Switching sides. Opening up the inner thigh. Take responsibility for what's showing up. If you want to get something different, do something different. Do something positive, healthy, and different. Think and speak positively, healthy, and different to yourself. Speak lovingly to yourself. Stop crying about the spilt milk. Accept it as it is. Okay, the milk got spilt. Okay, clean it up. Clean up the milk. Nobody's going to clean it up. you got to clean it up. You spilt it. Clean it up. Stop crying about it now. Just clean it up. Just bringing the soles of my feet together. Just laying on my back. Just opening up my knees. Just working on my inner thighs. Just stretching myself out. Just breathing. Just coming to my breath. Just focusing on my breath. Just laying on my back, just stretching out my inner thighs. And we can stay laying down on our back, or if you prefer to sit up, we can sit up. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to do a little bit of guided meditation just for a couple of minutes here. Just going to be focusing on my breath. I'm just going to be focusing on what I'm thinking and saying to myself. I'm just getting conscious of what I'm thinking and saying to myself, how I'm speaking to myself. I'm just making myself accountable here. Just coming to a focus on my thoughts and words in this present moment. Every single moment is an opportunity an opportunity to reconnect to the energy inside of me or be affected and controlled by the energy around me. I always have this choice. This choice is my power, my power to focus. Thank you. you. You're welcome, guys. This is my power to focus, focus within, or focus around me. That's my choice. I can focus on the power inside of me. I can manage the power inside of me with the thoughts and words that I choose to hold in my mind. What am I thinking and saying to myself? How am I speaking to myself? How am I speaking to myself right now? Pay attention to your in-breath and your out-breath. Focus on your breathing. Observe the work that you've just done. You've just stretched and strengthened your body for an hour. Now we're just working on nothing but the mindset. Now we're thinking about what we want. Now I'm thinking about growing love inside of myself. Now I'm thinking about growing health inside of myself. Now I want to grow joy and happiness in myself and in my life. With every inhale, I draw up joy and happiness. 
with every exhale, I allow my joy and happiness to share out with my life. It's an intention practice. It's an imagination practice. Breathe in, breathe up your energy. Breathe out and allow your energy. Breathe in, draw up your energy. Breathe out and allow your loving energy to share with your life. This is just a practice. This is just a mindfulness practice. This is just a breath work practice. This is just a movement practice. This is our intentions and our imaginations. What are we holding in our mind while we breathe? What are we thinking and speaking about to ourself, to our others? How are we thinking and speaking about ourself and our life? This is just learning how to think and speak differently to ourselves about ourselves. This is changing our thoughts, our words, our actions. This is how we heal ourselves naturally. Thank you very much for joining in with me this morning. Every Sunday morning, we're doing this in the group. Saturday afternoon workshops, all for free, all available in our group. Have yourself a super awesome, terrific day. Thank you, you too.